Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new, my name is Hansa Nora Sama and I've been a mentor for Inabad for Agriculture and Rural Development. Uh, for today's video, we are going to do on 50 MCQs of Kurukshetra and Yuja magazines. So we have taken up 50 MCQs and we'll be trying to solve all of this. Alright, so if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can also press the bell icon out here. And if you guys have enjoyed the session with me, don't forget to hit the like button as well. And you can also join our Telegram group where you can have a discussion with the mentors as well as with the other fellow students about all the queries and all your doubts as well. Right, so the link will be uh, given in the description below. So you can just click on the link and you can join our Telegram group. Um, all right, so today we'll be continuing with our part two of our Guru Shetan uh, Yojana magazine for the month of April and May, all right? So we'll be solving a few questions, 50 questions actually, and we'll try to uh, uh, know the answers as well as have a rough uh, overview of the answers as well. But I won't be uh, explaining in detail because there's a lot of questions, so we need to complete it as fast, right? Okay, so moving on to our first question. Our first question says, with reference to the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sabara Yojana, uh, the components all right so we have to select which of the following uh, or which of these following comes under the components of under this scheme the first one is creation of backward and forward linkages and second one is human resources and institutions number three is mega food parks number four is integrated cold chain and value addition infrastructure so out of these which of the uh, we have to select the options all right so then the right answer for this is all of the above as all of the above uh, out here the creation of backward and forward linkages human resource mega food parks integrated cold chain all of these are the components of this pradhan mantri pradhan mantri kisan sabara yojana all right and see uh, the there are actually seven components the first one was mega food parks we have integrated cold chain we have infrastructure for agro processing we have creation of backward and forward linkages creation of expansion of food processing and preservation capa the capacities food safety and human resources and institutions so these are the seven components under this scheme okay let's move on to another question with reference to the employees state insurance esi scheme which of the following is correct right so under this scheme the worker population and immediate dependents of family are also covered this applies to establishment wherein 20 or more persons are employed right and we also have the esi schemes implemented district wise so select the correct answer using the given code all right so option number a is one only we have one and two only we have one and three only three two and three only and the last one is all of the above so the right answer for this is two and three only as the second one this applies to establishment where 20 or more persons are employed this is wrong this statement is wrong okay and now let's move on to a third question where with reference to uh, Shamia Prasad Mukherjee uh, our, our urban mission which is also known as SPMRM so which of the following statements are correct, right? So the first statement says it is the predecessor of the provision of urban amenities to rural, which is also known as the Pura project. And the second one here is the village panchayatis identify the villages to be included in clusters, right? And the third one is it is a centrally sponsored scheme. So we have to select the right answer or the correct statement out of these. The options given here are one and two only. We have two and three only. Number C is one and three only. And number D is two and three only. And number E says all of the above. So the right answer is two and three one and three only right so basically this mission all right so spm rm mission they aim to transform these urban clusters by stimulating local economic development by enhancing basic services and also creating well-planned urban clusters all right so this is rural urban clusters right so this will lead to the holistic development of the region as well as it will encourage the integrated and inclusive rural development and when we're talking about rural development it will also include the health your um your um, the employment uh in generating income all of that will also come under all of these okay so let's move on to another question with reference to the Atal pension yojana consider the following statement and you have to select the correct statement right and the <coughs> sorry the first statement says the scheme is available to only citizens of india whose monthly income is less than fifteen thousand, and the age of the subscriber for this scheme should be about 18 to 50 years and contribution to the Atal 
pension yojana are eligible for tax benefits similar to the national pension systems all right so the options given here are one only number b is two and three only number c is three only number d is one and three only number e is all of the above so the right answer for this is one and three only as uh, if you look into the second statement the age of the subscriber or the eligibility criteria for this scheme is actually from 18 years of age to 40 years of age all right so this is not 50 years of age it's up till the 40 years of age okay i hope this is clear and now let's move on to another question with reference to the pradhan mantri mudra yojana we have to consider the following statements okay so it is it can be available for business plans for non-farm sector income generating activities only so the long loans above rupees fifty thousand and up to rupees five lakhs are categorized as kishore and loans above five lakh to ten lakh these are uh, categorized as tarun all right so we have to select the correct statement the a number a is one only number b is two and three only and we have number c which is three only number d is all the above and number e is safe none of the above okay so the right answer for this guys is all of the above right so this pradhan mantri mudra yojana it was launched in the year of 2015 all right so they have two uh, with the twin aims it means it has main two aims of providing a credit of about rupees 10 lakh to small entrepreneurs and they also act as a regulator for the mi micro finance institutions okay and they basically this mudra they always target the educated or the skilled young educated or the skilled workers so it means that they want young entrepreneurs coming up right and these entrepreneurs this will also include a woman entrepreneurs as well okay so these are some of the facts about this mudra scheme and now let's go to another question so we have to select which of the following are the Karif crops right so out of these uh, we have maize mustard cotton and groundnut right so out of these we have to select the Karif crops the options given here are number a is one and two only number b is one three and four number c is two and four number d is all of the above and number e is none of the above right so the right answer for this is one three and four so it is maize uh we have cotton and granite so mustard is not a curry crop right so it is a ruby crop right so i hope you guys are aware of what curry crop and what ruby crops are so curry crops are mostly grown during the uh rainy days right so the rainy days will start around from around june july till of september october okay then from uh october and to november rugby season will start okay so these are the winter season and we have curry which is the uh which is the rainy season right and we have also zate right so zate will be starting from around February until March, early March till June, right? So this will be Z, right? So this is considered as mostly summer, right? So basically, so right? So let's go to another question. So like the correct statements on initiatives taken by the government of India for catalyzing the growth of MSMEs, right? So, so we have First statement says government procurement has also been digitalized through the government e-marketplace, which is also known as GEM. And we also have initiatives such as Bharat Interface for Money, which is known as BEAM that we always use, right? Applications, these are going massive boost to digital uh, mon money transactions. We also have number third statement which says government launched a trade receivable electronic discount system, which is also known as TREDS, right? So we have to select the correct statement out of this so number a is one only number b is one and two number c is two and three number d is one and three and number e is all of the above so all of the above statements are correct on the basis of uh, the initiatives which is taken up with the government for catalyzing the growth of the mfmes all right um, another question here is when was the interest subvention scheme for msmes launched by the prime minister of india right so our, the launching date you have to select right option a 2017 uh, number b is 2016 we have number c which is 2018 and number d is 2019 and we have number e which is 2020 so the right answer for this is 2018 so this interest subvention scheme for these MSMEs, it was um, launched at a uh, year of 
2018. So this basically the scheme they aim at encouraging both manufacturing as well as the service enterprise to increase the productivity as well as to provide incentives to the MSMEs. All right. So they also want to for the onboard or onboarding on the GST platform, which will also help in formalizing the economy. Right. So this scheme it will uh, basically will be in operation from the financial years 2019 till and 2020. Right. So these are some of the things on this interest subvention scheme of MSMEs. And now let's go to another question with reference to the closet development, select the incorrect statement. So here you have to select the incorrect, not the correct statement. All right. So the first statement says closet policies, they work towards the strengthening of inter-firm collaboration. Number second says research on clusters can reflect the advantages of focusing on cluster with positive interrelationships among the stakeholders. Number third is it involves business networking and building up strengthening of organizations for transfer technology. All right, so the um, options given here, number A is one only, number B is two and three, number C is three only, number D is all of the above, and number E is none of the above. Okay, guys, so the right option answer for this is none of the above. As all of these above statements, these are correct on cluster development. Uh, all right, and let's move on to another question where we have to select the correct statement on scheme of fund for regeneration of traditional industries, which is also known as FURT, right? So first statement, the selection of clusters, it will be based on their geographical concentration, which should be around 100 beneficiary families, right? And we also have number second, which says the cluster, it will be from Cuddy, Queer, and Village Industries, which will also include leather and potter. So number third one is it should be located within one or two revenue subdivisions in a district or in a contiguous, contiguous district. So the options given here are number A, which is one only. Number B is two and three only. Number C is one and three only, guys. Number D is all of the above. And number E is none of the above. So the right answer for this is two and three only, all right? As the first statement is wrong on this. Uh, so this scheme of fund for regenerative of the traditional industries. So these it is an ministry. It is by the Ministry of MSME to promote the cluster development. All right. So this Cuddy and the Village Industries Commission. That these are the nodal agency for promotion of this cluster development of the Cuddy. All right. So these two you guys need to remember is under the Ministry of MSME, and this is the Cuddy and the Village Industry Commission. These are the nodal agency for this cluster development for this scheme right um, another question here is with reference to the solar chakra clusters consider the following statements so the first statement says uh, the president of india ram nath Kovin, he launched the solar chakra mission and number second says it was launched on june 27 2009 at a function in new delhi and number third says 11 detailed project reports of solar chakra have been approved by the by the scheme steering committee during concurrent financial year of 2019 to 2020. So we have to select the incorrect statements out of these statements, which of the following is incorrect, all right? So the options given here are number one is A, a one only, number B is one and two only. We have number two, which says well, two only, number D is one and three, and number E is none of the above. Okay, so two only, it means that the second statement which says launching of the uh, this solar chakra cluster, it was launched on the 2019. So it was actually launched on the year of 2018. Okay, so the president of India, so he launched the solar chakra mission on June 27th, all right, at a function in New Delhi. So it will be uh, 27th on, at Delhi, all right, on 2018. So which of the objective of agro-processing cluster scheme? Uh, so we have to select the objective of this agro-processing cluster scheme. All right, so number A is strengthening of interfilm collaboration business networking and building up strengthening of organizations for technology transfer. Number B is improve the competitiveness of industries, but also an instrument for elevation of poverty. We also have number C, which says development of the modern infrastructure and common facilities to encourage the group of entrepreneurs to set up these food processing units which are based on a cluster approach all right number d is all of the above and number e is none of the above so which of this following is the right answer so the right answer of this is c so the main objective of this agro processing cluster scheme is 
the may, uh, development of modern infrastructure as well as for giving of the common facilities to improve, encourage a lot of group of entrepreneurs or the entrepreneurs or the uh, coming up entrepreneurs to set up a food processing unit which is based on a cluster approach okay so this is the main aim of this scheme and now let's go to another question where it says what is the full form of this CH CDS okay so the options given here are number one is comprehensive handloom cluster developing scheme number B is community handloom cluster developing scheme number C is comprehensive hand-on-hand -hand cluster developing scheme number D is cluster handloom community development scheme and number E says cluster handloom comprehensive development scheme the right answer to this is comprehensive handloom cluster development scheme all right and now let's go to another question what are the steps taken on by the government of India and livelihood opportunities in agriculture? Okay, so these are three statements. So this government, they develop a seamless national food supply chain for perishable agri products by collaborating with the Indian Railway, right? And number second states, a dedicated Kisan Rail, it was launched and refrigerated coaches, it also will be joined with express and freight trains. And number three states, Ministry of Civil Aviation will launch Krishi Uran. So the options given here, one only, number B is two only, number C is two and three, number D is all of the above, and number E says none of the above. The right answer for this is all of the above. As all of the above statements, these are uh, these are some of the states or initiatives which are taken up by the government of India to increase the life of opportunities. So how will this help uh, by creating the seamless uh, supply chain uh, from the farm to the market to all the, to all the consumers and by by increasing the transport facilities of these um, um, basically supply chain all over India, it will actually help the farmers in uh, helping out their generating more income, right? And also generating employment. So in that way, this is also a livelihood opportunities. And this, especially for the civil aviation, for the Krishiuran, this will be mainly focused on the tribal areas. Uh, so the goal. So this will be mainly focused on the tribal areas, especially even in the northeastern states as well. So that's how it's going to improve the livelihood opportunities of these farmers and especially in agriculture. Okay, I hope this is clear. And now let's go to another uh, question which says, what is the objective of ARIA? All right. So number A is to develop the younger citizens, getting employment as in MSME to promote Indian agriculture product globally to attract youth to entrepreneurship in agriculture and allied activities to provide better brands of cardio products and number e is not the above so the right answer for this is number c which is um to attract youth to entrepreneurship in agriculture and allied activities okay so the so the icrr so it was launched by ICAR, okay, so Indian Council of Agriculture Research. So they realized the importance of the rural youth in agriculture, uh, development of the country. So they initiated a program which is also which is known as attracting and retaining uh, youth in agriculture, which is in short we call it ARIA, okay. So this was a program which was initiated by ICAR. Okay, I hope this is clear. And now. Let's go to another question. In order to mentor an agri startups and help them connect with the potential investors, ICAR, then with National Academy of Agriculture uh, Research Management, they launched this Agri Uran, right? So this is a program. So we have to select in which of the. So they collaborated with which of these following? Okay. So the options given here are I am Bangalore. We have B. I am Ahmedabad. We have C. I am Kozhikode. We have. Number D, which is I am Shillong. We have number E, which is I am Indore. So the right answer for this is uh, I am Ahmedabad. So the uh, ICR with the National Academy of Agriculture Research and Management, right? So they are collaborating with I am Ahmedabad to mentor the agri startups and help them connect with the potential investors, okay? Okay, right. Now, let's go to the next question. So, which says, when was Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana Gramin launched? Okay, so the options given here are number A is 2016, number B is 2014, number C is 2015, number D is 2018, number E is 2012. So the right answer for this, guys, is 2015. So this Pradhan Mantri Awaz Mantri Awaz Yojana Gramin was introduced. Uh, 
in the year of 2015 to boost the housing for all scheme by the year of 2022, okay? So the main aim of this PMAYG scheme is to provide a Pakka house with some basic amenities for all the people in living in India, all right? So this is the main aim of the scheme. This is a housing scheme, right? So they want to give this housing for all by the year of 2022. So this is important, all right? So try to remember. Okay, guys. So if you guys are learning this for the first time, don't forget to jot it down in your uh, copy or just have a notepad beside you as I'm speaking. And you can also just jot down all the important points that you need to remember or you need, you need to study. Okay. All right. So next question here is select the incorrect statement on Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana. So we have to select the incorrect statement. Okay. So the first one states Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana. It was launched in the year of 2016. The mudra they targets young, educated, or skilled workers and entrepreneurs, including women entrepreneurs. So the scheme is designed to promote an access of financial facilities to non-corporate small business sectors as well. So the options given here are one only, two, three only. We have two, one and three only. We have three only. And number A is all of the above. The right answer for this is one only, okay? So the first statement is wrong. Okay, guys. Um, so this Pradhan Mantri is a flagship scheme of the government of India to fund the unfunded by bringing such enterprise to formal financial system and ex extending affordable credit to them. So this uh, scheme was launched on 8th April 2015 by the Prime Minister of India. Okay, I was just here. And now let's go to another question. So the question says, when was Dean Dayal Upadhyaya Ramin Kaushalya Yojana launched? So the options here are number A is 2011, number B is 2014, number C is 2016, number D is 2015, number E is 2013. The right answer for this is 2014. So this scheme was launched in the year of 2014. Okay, guys, so all these dates are very important. So whenever you study any schemes always try to remember the dates right so let's go to the next question okay so what are the key budget uh budget 2020 2021 proposals for the rural employment okay so the first option here the first statement here is the government has set a target of 15 lakh ho for agriculture credit for the year of 2020 to 21 and it also proposes a comprehensive measures for hundred stress water stress districts and expand PM Kusum to provide 50 lakh farmers for setting up a loan for solar pumps. So number third here is it aims of doubling milk processing capacity from 53.5 million metric tons to 108 metric tons by the year 2025. It means it's a doubling of the milk processing capacity. So the options given here are number A is one only, number B is two and three only, number C is two sorry a one and three only and we have number d which says three only and number a number e is all of the above okay guys so the right answer is c which is one and three only so um <coughs> so the statement number two is wrong as now we'll just see why it's wrong okay so it has proposed a comprehensive measures for hundred stress districts right they also want to expand kusum to provide 20 lakh farmers, so in that statement it was written 50 lakh farmers, there was actually 20 lakh farmers for setting up standalone solar pumps. And also the another 15 lakh farmers uh, would also get to solarize their grid connected solar pumps, right, setting up of efficient warehouses, as well as in the horticulture sector, would focus on one product, one district. So they will aim at, um, <coughs> so they would aim at improving the one product per district right so there was also help in marketing as well as export right so these are some of the uh, steps taken by the <clears throat> uh, these are all some of the steps under the key budget for the rural employment okay and now let's go to another question what is the aim of prime minister rural development fellow scheme okay so the options given here are the scheme enhances rural work connectivity, the objective of catering to the career aspiration of the rural youth and adding diversity to income of the rural families. Number C is to provide a short-term support for the district administration and underdeveloped and remote areas of the country and the developed competent and committed leaders. 
facilitating to serve as a resource for long term. And number D is aim to provide employment to the poor. And number E is not the above. The right answer for this is number C. So the scheme mainly want to provide the short term support to the district administration in the underdeveloped and remote areas of the country. Right? They also want to develop a competent and as well as committed leaders and facilitators who can serve as a resource for the long term. Right? So these are some of the things on the scheme. And now let's go to another question. Which of the following are the schemes for rural development and employment? So, so this is a broad umbrella term. So you have to choose which of the schemes are under this. Okay. So the first one is Sampurna Gramin Rules Bar Yojana, which is also known as SGRY. We have Sansad Ardhars Gram Yojana, which is SAGY. Number third is National Food and Work Program. Number A, option C is one only. Number B is one and two only. Number C is one and three. Number D is all of the above. And we have number E, C is none of the above. So all of the above options or all of the above schemes are the schemes which are under the rural development and employment, okay? So all of the above is the right answer. Um, next question, when was National Rural Program, Rural Employment Program launched? Okay, so the options given here are number A is A, 2009, we have B, which is 1990, number C, 2006, number D, 2004, number E, 2010. The right answer for this is 2006. So this National Rural Employment Program, it was launched in the year of 2006. So it was basically launched to use the unemployed and underemployed workers to build community assets. Okay, so this is the aim or the objective. And now let's go to another question. Select the correct statement in National Health Protection Scheme. Uh, so first one is it will cover over 10 crore poor and vulnerable families, right? And we will have, which will have approximately 50 crore beneficiaries. And for second is coverage of up to five lakh of a family year will be provided for secondary and tertiary care hospitalization. So which is 50 crore beneficiaries as well. And it was launched in the year 2011. The options given here are number A, one only, number B, one and two, number C, two and three, number D, three only, number E is all of the above. The right answer is one and two only. And the second, second statement is, sorry, um, the third statement is wrong, okay? Uh, another question here is, how much increase was seen on the health budget for 2020-21 compared to uh, 2019? Okay, sorry, it's 2019 to 2020. Uh, the options here are first one five percent number B number C number B is four point one we have number C which is two point five number D is three point six number E is six point six the right answer for this is number B which is four point one so there is an increase of about um, four point one percent it was seen in the um, <coughs> health budget. Sorry, health budget for 2022-21. All right, and now let's go to another question where uh, we're gonna talk about the according to this, the Bart estimates on women's women state which of the following statements are true. Okay, first is 60% uh, of women members participated in the survey were attending to domestic duties. And these were not engaged in any economic activity. Okay. Number second says which over one fourth of the males were either self-employed, including farmers, only 20, which is about 4.8% of women responded were self-employed. And number third is the rural uh, women mobilized into self-help groups stood at 6.47 crore by December 2019. So the options given here are number one is one only, number two is Number B is two only, number C is two and three, number D is none of the all of the above, and number E is none of the above. So the all the options of the above options, these are all correct on the uh Nabot estimates of the women, all right. Um another question here, what are the components of national health mission? So first one is any uh anemia mukta we have 
iron and folic acid supplementation. We have organization of village and nutrition diets, as well as sanitation and nutrition days. Number D is promotion of iodized salt consumption. Number E is all of the above. So the right answer for this is all of the above, as all of the above statements are correct on National Health Mission. So the ha it has three components. Let me just name it out. First, anemia, moved by and we have organization of village, health and nutrition and diets, as well as sanitation, nutrition days. And we also have iron and folic and catching supplement supplementation. And number last one is promotion of iodized salt consumption. So when was Pradhan Mantri Matru Vandana Yojana or also known as maternity benefit program launched? So the options are given here. Number A, 2017, number B, 2018, number C, 2018, number D, 2016, number E, 2013. Okay, so the right answer for this is 2017 as this maternity benefit program, right? So it was launched in the year of 2017, right? And now let's go to another question. Um, so which of the scheme of the adults and girls, which is also known as SAG, provides services to out-of-school adults and girls? All right, so which are the following? Uh, whether which are the following age groups? So we have to select the age groups for this scheme. Okay, the options are five to twelve years. Number B is twelve to sixteen years. We have eleven to fourteen years. We have um, ten to fifteen years, and number E is thirteen to seventeen years. So the right answer is eleven to fourteen years. So between the age, the girls between the age of eleven to fourteen years are eligible for this scheme, which is known as a scheme for adults and girls, right? Um, another question here is select a correct statement on our urban clusters. So first one it identifies across the country rural areas showing increasing signs of urbanization. Number second is the mission aims to provide these our urban clusters by stimulating local economic development. Number third is it launched by Ministry of Rural Development. The options given here A one only, number B is one and two only, number C is two and three only, and we have number D which is three only and number D is all of the above. The right answer guys for this is all of the above as all of the above statements are correct. Okay? So this is important. Uh, another question, how much fish production is aimed under the blue economy? Okay, so <coughs> the options given here, 500 lakh tons, number B, 200 lakh tons, number C, 100 lakh tons, number D is 250 lakh tons, number E is 140 lakh tons. Okay, guys, so for this question, I would like you guys to answer, comment in the drop it in the comment section, and if you guys have any guesses or if you guys know the answer, don't forget to comment, okay? Uh, another question here is, which of the following states has the highest number of self-help groups under the National Rule by Vivid Mission? There are options given here are Punjab, number B is Bihar, number C is West Bengal, number D is Uttar Pradesh, number E is Tamil Nadu. So the right answer for this is Bihar. So Bihar has the highest number of self-help groups, which is under the National Rule by Vivid Mission. Okay. Another question here is, with reference to the Janani Suraksha Yojana, which of the following are correct? So the first one is the scheme is an intervention under the National Health Mission. Number second, it is fully funded by the central government. Number third is it aims to reduce maternal and new maternal uh, mortality. And number, uh, we have to select the correct answer. So first is one only, number B is two and three. Number C is 3 only, number D is 1, 2, and 3, number E is all of the above, okay? So the right answer for this is all of the above, as all of the above statements are correct on this Janani Suraksha Yojana, okay? Okay, the next question here is, which reference to the Swada Gray scheme consider the following statements? So under the scheme statement, the only pregnant and lactating women are covered. So this Swada Gray, it is set up to be, it is set up in every district of the country. And the scheme and, uh, <coughs> and procedures, the providing shelter, food, clothing, health, as well as economic and social security for these women. So which are the following or statement is or are correct so the options given here are number a is one only we have two which is two only number c is one and three number d is two and three and number e is all of the above the right answer for this is two and three only as the second the first is wrong okay 
So uh, the Ministry of the Women and Child Development, they implemented the SWOT Agree scheme. It targets the women which are victims of difficult circumstances who are in need of institutional support for rehabilitation so that they could have or they could lead their life with better dignity. Okay, so this is the main aim or this is the reason why this SWOT Agree scheme it was first launched. Okay, guys. Um, another question here is under this Rashtra Mahila Kosh, uh, loads are directly provided to which of the following? The options are self-help groups, number B is non-government organizations, number C is cooperative banks, number D is individual women entrepreneur, and number E is a group of women. Okay, guys, so the right answer for this is the non-government organizations. So under this scheme or this Rashtra Mahila Kosh scheme, the loans these will be provided to these national the non-government organizations through which they will be supplied to the women okay so the last question here is the step scheme is intended to benefit women who are in the age group of number a is below 15 number b is 13 to 15 number c is 12 to uh 12 and above number d is 13 and 18 and number e is uh, 16. So the right answer for this in 16 and above, right? So this step scheme, right, which is also known as a support to training and employment program for women, okay? So uh, this scheme, it aims to provide skills that give an employability to women and to provide the competencies and skills that enable the women to become more self-employed and more independent, and as well as in a self-employed entrepreneurs okay so this scheme is intended to benefit women who are in the age group of 16 and years and above all across the country okay guys so la uh, the uh, second last question here is when was national uh, <coughs> sorry so the second last question here was when was national crush scheme launched so the options given here are 2019 2017 2014 2015 and 2020 so the option uh, the right answer for this is 2070 okay so this scheme has been implemented as a centrally sponsored scheme through states and union territories with the effects from 2017 right so they also the main aim is to provide a daycare facilities for children from the age of six months till six years group of working mothers okay so these are some of the things that's all for today guys so um if you guys have enjoyed this session don't forget to hit the like button and if you guys have any doubts or any queries don't forget to comment in the comment box um, and if you guys are new don't forget to subscribe to our channel i will be coming up with another 50 mcqs for the month of june and july on monday so stay tuned and we'll try to solve them we'll have a live session most probably and um that's all for today so have a good day and we'll be meeting for the next session